Hello learners, welcome to this another session on your course BFDI 072 that is basics of pattern making and sewing. Today we will discuss about the topic sewing needles. So in this session we will discuss about structure and sizing of needle. We will discuss functions of needle, what the needle is used for. So, and when we will discuss types of needle and its point. And lastly, we will discuss selection of needle, thread and stitch according to the type of fabric what we are using. So, this particular topic, sewing needles, will help you to understand the single needle lock stitch machine properly how you will use the machine and what is the particular use of needle in a sewing uh, machine and the garment construction you will understand and after going through this topic you can select and fix the right size of type of uh, needle in relation to the fabric because any fabric what we are using to construct the garment According to that fabric, we need the needle and the thread. So first, let us understand what sewing needles are. So needle or sewing needle is used for hand sewing is a long slender tool with a pointed tip at one end and a hole or an eye to hold the sewing thread. So when you see a sewing needle, whether it is a machine needle or a hand needle, you, it is a cylinder type uh, of a tool which has a pointed end at one end and a hole which is used to insert the thread. So earlier in the ancient time, we used the needle which were made up of bone or wood and mod modern needles what we are using today are manufactured from the high carbon steel wires. So, we can see in the ancient time people used to have the needles which were uh, they used to made it from bones of animals or the wood and in the present to make it easy we have developed the needles which are used uh, which are made up of steel and the uh, small carbon wires. Sewing needle we can say is the main element for carrying the thread through the material during the sewing operations and it is the part that penetrates into the fabric. So when you see a garment which is stitched or you experience a stitching of a garment, first thing what we use, we use the needle and a thread and needle is the element which goes into the fabric, it penetrates into the fabric and, and it happens the stitching. So it guides the needle thread through the material being sewn and forms a loop with the lower thread and needles are made up of steel as we right now discuss in the present time but earlier we had uh, uh, evidences that people use the needles which were used of, to made of bones and wood. So let us see what function needle has. So needle first and the most important function of needle is that to penetrate the material without causing any damage to it and provide a hole for thread to pass through so that there is least amount of abrasion on the thread. So to carry the needle thread down through the material and assist in uh, stitching formation the needle is used. The main function of needle is this to go into the fabric, to penetrate into the fabric and to pass the thread which is on the needle to get it, the stitch formed into the fabric. Now let us see what a needle uh, has all the structures. Let us under understand the structure of a needle, whether it is a machine needle or a hand. We will particularly discuss about the machine sewing needle. So, uh, let us see the structure of needle. We will particularly discuss about the machine sewing needles. So, when you see a needle, it has lots of, it has a pin point, it has a cylinder type of point, sometimes some, uh, some areas are flat, 
some areas are circular so a swing needle especially a machine needle consists of some parts first part of the needle is said as butt uh, when you see in the picture you can understand butt is a small pyramid at the upper end of the shank and it is the sharp end of uh, the needle that fits into the needle bar so when you see a needle especially a machine needle uh, when you the uppermost part of the needle uh, which is a small pyramid shape and that pyramid shape or that particular part is said as the butt of the needle and this particular part goes into the needle bar to get it fixed or planted there next part on the machine needle is said as the shank shank uh, which is below the butt it is the upper end of the needle that is held in the needle bar by the needle screw so we have the first the uppermost part which is in the shape of pyramid we say it as a butt below that the part is said as the shank which goes into the needle bar from where we tighten it with the help of a needle screw so it may be a cylindrical or may have a flat side according to the type of machine we are using and it is usually larger in diameter than the rest of the needle so the longest part in the diameter we can say is the shank part of the needle then we have the shoulder of needle shoulder this section of the needle is between the shank and the blade so the place or the distance between the shank and the blade is set as the shoulder part of the needle so this is the part where the needle tapers down into the blade so this is how uh, the needle tapers into the blade and that is said as the shoulder part of the needle then we have the blade blade this is the main section of the needle we can say it is the long shoulder po portion of the needle that extends from the end of the shoulder to the eye and it contains the long groove short groove scarf and the eye so in the picture you can see and understand all the parts of this particular needle that blade we have then this blade part contains the long groove short groove scarf and the eye then next we have the long groove long groove it is a longest channel on the blade of a needle which extends from one of the uh, one end of the shank to the top of the eye so in the picture you can see and understand that when we have the shank part of the needle the the longest channel on the blade that extend from the end of the shank where the shank ends to the top of the eye of the needle that is said as the long groove so it is located on the supply side of the needle that is the side from which the needle thread enters the eye of the needle then we have the scarf part of the needle so this is a cut into blade just above the eye so in the picture you can see just above the eye where the thread is in inserted it is said as the eye of the needle and just above the eye we have a blade type of structure there that is said as the scarf and on the side opposite it is on the opposite of the long groove so it allows the hook to pass closely between the needle and the thread when forming a stitch the so main purpose of the scarf is to uh, pass when the needle and the thread are forming the stitch on the fabric then we have the short groove short groove uh, it is the short distance between and above the below and above the eye part of the needle it is located on the loop taking side of needle that is side from which the needle thread come out of the needle eye and it provides protection from the for the needle thread as needle passes through the material during the sewing time especially in the 
sewing in the dense material when we are uh, stitching a fabric which is dense this short groove helps the material and it protects the material then we have the eye part of the needle which is the tip of the needle we can say it is an opening in the needle blade at the lower end of the long groove through which the needle thread passes so eye or the hole there is on the end or the tip of the needle from where we uh, insert the thread and fr from where the needle passes uh, the thread so the in the picture you can see and understand all the parts and the structure of a needle where from which starts from the bud portion to the eye or the tip of the needle then last we have the point and tip of the needle so point is the bottom part of the needle the one end part of the needle which extend from the eye to the tip so the portion where the thread is inserted to the tip point of the needle is said as the point so the most important aspect of needle design is the point because it has to penetrate into the fabric and lastly we have the tip of the needle the part of the needle that uh, pierces the material which goes or inserts into the material is said as the tip of the needle so this is the uh, structure of the needle and different parts of the needle which you have to understand clearly to make it clear what the needle is uh, how the needle look like and you should know uh, by its name then a uh, most important thing which we have to keep in mind before selecting or choosing the needle according to the fabric or when we are going for the stitching so needle sizing is very important and to choose a needle of a correct size according to the fabric is very important to understand so the correct choice of needle size is very important to facilitate a good sewing performance like if we have a very good design and very uh, good fabric for the construction of a garment but we do not know how we have to choose the what type of needle we need for a particular type of fabric we cannot have a good performance in the sewing so this is very important to understand the sizing and the type of needle according to the fabric what we are using so if the needle is too fine for the thread to pass through the eye the thread will suffer exertion abrasion and may break like why the thread will break once we are using the sewing machine needle is moving up and down very in a very fast uh, pace and when the needle is moving it uh, have the some amount of heat and because of that heat sometimes the thread what we are using it breaks down so this would uh, result to the very weak seam or the stitching will not be very perfect so we should use we should have the selection of the thread according to the fabric what we are using so on the other hand if the needle is too coarse for the thread like the fabric is what we are using is very fine and needle is very uh, of a ball point that we will discuss in the later slides so if the needle is too coarse for the thread what we are using uh, there would be a poor loop formation and skip in the stitches so we should select the thread according to the type of needle what we are using for the construction of garment also the hole in the fabric will be too big for the thread thereby leading to a poor seam so this is how we should select the uh, needle and thread according to the fabric higher the number indicates the thicker point and coarser needle like if the needle number is higher that indicates that it will be of the thicker point and the for the coarser needles 
So while selecting needle, make sure that it is fine enough to pass easily through the fabric without leaving any large hole in the fabric. So it should not be so fine that it bends or breaks easily. So it should no, not be that much coarse or it should not be not that much fine that it bends or breaks very easily when you start the stitching process. So there are different types of needle we have according to uh, the type of fabrics what we use for the construction. So let us see what are different types of needle points we have and which type of point is used for which type of fabric. So first type of needle point what we have is the cloth point. So cloth point as the name implies it is the cloth point needle are used to sew the or stitch the textile material like for general uh, stitching for the cotton fabric for the silk fabric any fabric for the garment construction what we are using uh, it the point of the needle what we use is said as the cloth point. So both for the woven and the knitted fabric we use the cloth point. So this is the most common point type we use in the stitching and these are of two types round point and the ball point needle. So round point the tip of the point is conical in shape. The wide range of woven textile material is seven with the round point needle and it is the most commonly used uh, type of needle we use for the construction of garment and these needle tends to spread the yarn of a material apart without damaging them. So round point needle we generally uh, use for the woven textiles. Then we have the ball point. So the tip of the point is in the shape of a ball. So these are used for generally used for the knits like the knitted fabrics. So their round tips deflect the yarn thereby enlarging the loops and in the material without damaging the surface of the fabric. So it is used for knit and the mesh fabric, hosiery fabric what we have which is uh, in the little stretch fabric we use the ball point for the fabric which has elasticity in them we use the ball point. So ball point needle slides between the yarn instead of piercing them uh, as it penetrates into the fabric. Like when the needle goes into the fabric which is knitted, it makes a space there, it makes its position there without piercing the needle when it is penetrated into the fabric. So it reduces the possibility of hole and run and eliminates cutting the of the fabric. So this ball point tip is uh, we know that we generally use for the knits or the knitted fabric. Then we have the cutting point. Cutting point needle is they are particularly suitable for the sewing dense non-textile material that have no gap between or within their structure. Especially we use this for the leathers and the plastic when we want to stitch the leather and the plastic we use the cutting point needle type. So since such material do not have yarns, the needle point cut a sur uh, sufficient hole in the material for the needle blade and thread to pass through without excessive friction. So this reduces needle heating also and cutting point needle have a sharp tip. So as you can understand that leather uh, is very stiff we want the needle to be very sharp so cutting point needle is very useful for stitching the needle and the plastic materials in the picture you can see different tips or the point of the needle the ball point we discussed the po round point cutting edge all these are different types of uh, needle points we use for different according to the fabric or non-textile material to be stitched. Then selection of needle, thread and stitch length. These three 
points needle thread and stitch length are correlated to each other so the size of needle and thread depends fundamentally on the size of fabric yarn that is the structure and the thickness of the material to be seven like what the fabric what we are using whether it is fine fabric thick uh, lightweight fabric medium weight fabric or the heavy weight fabric all the needle thread and size depends upon the fabric and the yarn of the fabric what we are using so the finer the yarn the finer are both the needle and thread like if we have the yarn or the fabric which is fine we use the needle and thread which is fine so this would prevent damage to the material the coarser the material the thicker is the needle used like if the fabric is very coarse or thick we use the needle or uh, the point which is thick so this would avoid needle breakage so now you can understand the choice of the needle thread and the stitch length also it all depends on the fabric what we are using for the construction so needle type relates to fabric structure round point for the woven fabric ball point for the knit fabric cutting point for the plastic and leather so you can understand the fabric which is woven especially the uh, of all type of fabric what we are using for the garment construction generally we use the woven and for that we use the round point of needle if we are constructing a garment with the fabric which is knitted we use the ball point needle and for the plastic and leather leather if we are stitching the non textile materials we need the cutting point needle type so the thread is chosen for its compatibility with the fabric like right now we discuss the needle type according to the fabric type what we are using same in the same way thread type is also chosen for its compatibility with the fabric structure and the fiber content like for example if we are uh, using the cotton fabric for construction of a garment we should have the cotton threads so in the same way stitch length also depends upon the weight of the fabric the lighter weight fabric uh, the if we have the fabric with a light weight the stitch length what we are having uh, on the uh, construction method should be in the shorter stitch like length of the stitch should be shorter so in the same way if we are using the fabric which is in the heavy weight heavier the fabric the longer will be the stitch length so now you can see an uh, garment of yours which is made up of cotton and which is made up of any chiffon or a georgette fabric and see the stitches on that garment if the fabric is made up of cotton or any heavy weight fabric you can see the stitch length will be in a longer shape and when we see the fabric or the garment which is made up of chiffon or georgette you will see the very tiny stitches on that particular garment so you can relate the thinner or the lighter weight of the fabric we need a short length of the stitch and for the heavier weight of the fabric we need the longer or a very a big size of the needle uh, stitch length on that particular garment uh so in this table you can see and understand the machine needle size and stitch per inch stitch per inch which we also say it is as spi like which type for what type of fabric what needle size you should use and what an approx or a standard uh, stitch per inch is said or recommended to have like if you are using a sheer fabric or a very light uh, very transparent fabric such, such as you are using the organza knit or voile fabric or chiffon fabric the needle size we need is should be between 9 to 11 and the stitch per inch we should have it should be between 16 to 20 stitch in per inch of stitches 
so there should be 16 to 20 number of stitches if you count in a one inch of a stitch when we are using a fabric which is lightweight suppose you are using a fine cotton a crepe fabric or rayon or a silk the needle size what we need is should be between 11 to 14 and the stitch per inch should be between 14 to 16 and medium weight fabric like linen corduroy muslin velvet if you are using the machine needle for so the needle size should be 14 and the stitch length or stitch per inch which is recommended should be between 10 to 12 uh, stitches in one inch of stitch then if you are using a fabric which is of heavy weight like denim tweed furnishing fabrics if we are using the machine uh, needle size what we need it should be between 16 to 18 now you can see the uh, difference or the comparison like for the sheer fabrics we needed the machine needle which is uh, of size between 9 to 11 but when we are using a denim fabric for the construction we need a needle uh, of a size which is between 16 to 18 and stitch length or the stitch per inch which is needed for the heavyweight fabric should be 6 to 8 uh, in uh, 6 to 8 stitches per inch so you can see the difference for the sheer fabric we need a uh, stitch per inch which is 16 to 20 like in a one inch of total fabric of a uh, when we are doing a stitch number of stitches in a chiffon fabric or a sheer fabric should be 16 to 20 but when we are having a denim fabric we need a stitch uh, in a one inch which is six to eight number of stitches so you can see the difference and understand the relationship between the stitch thread and the needle which is according to the fabric type what we are using for the construction so learners in this session we discussed about the structure of needle different sizes of needle according to the type of fabric what we are using for the construction of garment and we explain the function and types of needle and its selection according to the fabric type so this session uh, was on the sewing needles hope this session will be beneficial for you thank you